Hi children, myself Asha Jyoti. I am from the Maths faculty. So here today in this video we are going to discuss about that thirds. So before going to discuss about that thirds, we need to discuss about that rational numbers. Why we need to discuss about that rational numbers? Why? Because we have that a connection between rational numbers, irrational numbers. After we have that thirds. That's why first we need to discuss about that rational numbers. So children, what about generally rational numbers means here the numbers which are in the form of p by q. So those numbers we will call as rational numbers. Some examples 2 by 3. So here where p is equals to 2, q is equals to 3. So we will call this type of numbers as rational numbers or else we can say that 1. 1 is a rational number. Yes obviously. Why? Because 1 we can write it as 1 by 1. So again we will get it as 1 by 1 means p by q form. So that is also one of that rational number. So what about that 0? So generally we know that all integers are positive integers and negative integers are 0 also we can take it as rational numbers. So after rational numbers what we have that irrational numbers. So after that irrational numbers. Irrational numbers means the numbers which cannot be in the form of p by q. We cannot write such type of numbers in the form of p by q. Those numbers we will call it as irrational numbers. So here just observe that root 2. So root 2 we can't write it as a p by q form right. So here we will call that root 2, root 3, pi and so on. This type of all numbers are irrational numbers. So here why we are discussing irrational numbers means in the irrational numbers only we have that thirds. Okay. So what about that thirds? So children now come to that concept that is thirds. So just before that thirds we discussed about the rational numbers and irrational numbers right. So what about that third? So here let a be any positive rational number and n is a positive integer and nth root of a is an irrational number. nth root a is an irrational number then nth root of a is called a third of order n. is third of order n. So here the numbers which are in the form of nth root a and here nth root a must be an irrational number. Irrational number means already we discussed that. Irrational numbers we cannot express in the form of p by q. Right. So such type of numbers are known as thirds. So here nth root of a nth root of a is called a third. Here third is also known as radical. The other name of third is radical. Other name of a third is radical. So we have here some parts, right? What are those? N, that is N, next square root, and here A. So what we will call those? Here N is called order of the third. What we will call that N? n is order of the third and here this is nth root what about this symbol this is known as a radical sign okay so here n completed after nth root completed now here what about that a under that root we have that one of the number no we will call this one as radicand children so here this is a nth root of a means if a number is in the form of nth root a we will call those numbers are thirds so here how to identify that which numbers are thirds and which numbers are not thirds not thirds means it should be rational okay so if a number is an irrational then we will call those numbers are thirds if the number is a rational then that is not a third so here how to identify that so shall I say here here next nth root of a for example here we will call this one as a square root of 2 and this is square root of 3 square root of 5 and so on okay these all are square roots and here we have some other examples cube root of 5 fourth root of 5 fifth root of 7 and so on 
so these all numbers are irrational numbers right so we will call these all numbers are thirds so children see here some examples here just observe that this is square root of 2 okay what i told you that thirds is in the form of nth root of a so what about n here here nothing is there means here n is equals to 2 here nothing is there means we will consider it as square root already in previous classes we learned about that right square roots cube roots okay so here nothing is there means that is square root of 2 so square root of 2 we can write it as square root of 2 we can write it as in generally square root of 2 or square root of 3 we can write it as square root of 3. So, for that square, no need to write here any numbers. So that is 2 or 3, no need to write here. Next. So, shall I see here? In general, we told that n is the order of a third. So, for example, here I am giving that cube root of 5 so here order is what here order is equals to 3 that order only we will call it as degree so here order is 3 and what about that order is nothing but n is equals to 3 and here radicand so what is the radicand here at the place of a Actually, this is in the form of nth root of a. That's why here n is equals to 3 and here a is equals to, that is the radicand now. So, a is equals to 5. Okay, that is the radicand. Take one more example. 5th root of 6. Okay, here we will read this one as 5th root of 6. So, here what about that order? n is equals to 5 and here radicand a is equals to radicand a is 6 which is nothing but a is equals to 6 so children see here so after that examples we have one of the idea right so thirds means how to identify we know that which numbers are not thirds how we can say that just to say that one of the example this is a square root of 25 is this a rational number or irrational number if you know that then you can say that you can comment in that box okay see here square root of 25 so we can write this one as 25 we can express it as 5 into 5 am i right so here 5 into 5 we can write it as 5 square so 5 square and square root should be cancelled why because those two are cancelled why because here nth root of a we can write it as a power 1 by n okay nth root of a we can write it as a power 1 by n by co converting like this way we can cancel that as square root and square just observe here here this one we can write it as 5 square and this square root we can write it as 1 by 2 so this is in the form of a power m into n right so a power m n so we can write it as 2 and 2 gets cancelled so again we are getting here 5 so is 5 rational number or irrational number so 5 is a rational number that's why this is not a third so here that's why root 25 is not a third take one more example cube root of 27 cube root of 27 is it a third or not just we need to check it so cube root of 27 we can write it as a 3 cube 3 3 is 9 9 3 is 27 so here we can write this one as a 3 cube and this cube root become as 1 by 3 so here 3 and 3 gets cancelled so again we are getting that 3 so 3 is not an irrational number right so 3 is a rational number that's why here this is also not a third okay so after that cube root of 20 cube root of 20 so we can't write that 20 as the powers of cube right so here cube root of 4 into 5 okay we can't have here power 3 so that's why here this is a third okay children 